Let's see what happens uh, when you cook a frozen salmon. I usually put it in the fridge for a day, but I forgot about it. So we'll see what happens. It has beautiful uh, fat lines in there. Yeah, I love fat. And I'll put it on around 6, maybe 10, 15 minutes on one side. Put a lid on and and cook it. Never did it frozen. We'll see what happens. Okay, as you can see, uh, this fish is frozen. The pad here that absorbs the moisture, uh, you can't pull it off when it's frozen. So I gotta put a little bit of water on it to take it off. If not, there's little fibers that will get stuck on the fish. Usually I like it when the back is all skin. That way I could put it on. I don't care if it burns or not because uh, the skin protects it with the scales on it when I put it in. But this one has no scales. Everything's taken off. This one's beautiful because you could see huge lines of uh, the fat on there. And when it's a little bit crispy outside, it tastes super good. So, and I used um, yeah, oil, olive oil. That one here is really good. At around six. Okay, I'll put some water on it to take the paper off. As you can see, I took the paper off. Um, I got my uh, lid on here because it's going to splash when I put it on. It's a little bit hot. Uh, it's frozen. Never did it before like this, but we'll see what happens. I'll put it a little bit lower for a minute or so because I don't want it to get burnt. And we'll put it in for about maybe 10 minutes, leave it 10 minutes and see what happens. Okay, it's been about uh, 15 minutes at uh, the setting, the heat settings for. Let's see what happened here. It was all frozen. Uh, huh? Oh, it looks beautiful. Uh, okay, I gotta flip it over. And uh, yeah, it looks beautiful. All right. Okay, uh, as you can see, I flipped it over, but uh, it's so soft and just falls apart. But it looks really good and it was all frozen. It looks like it kept most of the juices inside because it was frozen. Uh, this is the first time I'm doing it. So uh, I did it for 15 minutes. Now I'm going to do another 5 minutes on this side and it should be ready. Okay, it's been another 5 minutes. So uh, I did it on one side for 15 minutes. And then I flipped it over for another 5 minutes so it's 20 minutes. I'm going to put some pepper and salt on it, but it was frozen. Um, yeah, it looks really good. I don't want to overcook it because uh, I don't want it to dry. So I think I think it's done. It's ready. It smells really good. Okay, I took it out. It's all falling apart, but it, it smells so good. Uh, there's one part here and one other part here. Uh, put a little bit of salt on it. I'm going to put a little bit of pepper on it too. Uh, the fish, you don't want it to overcook it because it's dry. This one looks really juicy. And uh, let me just taste a piece of this here. Mmm, juicy, super juicy. So, you could cook it frozen, no problem.